Good to see you. Hi there. As always, I am Harrison. And I'm Justine. And we welcome you to Neutral Grounds Coffee Reviews, where today we have a coffee from Honduras. Honduras. This is Aldi's coffee, and it's their organic coffee. We're going to be doing a review for you today and tasting two different ways to make Aldi's organic Honduras coffee. We have French press and an espresso. As always, our French press, when we review these, we really like the French press. And so we took all the normal steps that we do of heating the water the normal way, grinding the coffee. Now this is a medium roast coffee. This is a whole bean coffee, so if you are using a French press or if you're making an espresso, you can grind your beans accordingly, which that's one plus of getting a whole bean coffee. Then you can grind it for whatever machine you're using. So we are going to taste it for you and let you know how it tastes. So we'll taste the French press. You know that's a very good, it's a very good French press. It's very, it is smooth. It's a medium roast, so it's not too smoky. It's not too intense. It doesn't have that real oily feel to it. It's a very good coffee, a very medium, you know. It's definitely medium. Yeah, definitely down the middle of the road, you know. But but it lacks something. It, it's, it's lacking Yes, the intensity, but it's but it feels like it's lacking. What's it lacking? It's the type of coffee that if you were on an adventure looking for Sasquatch or Bigfoot, and you're looking for them, but you never find it. It's just elusive. That's what this coffee is. It's elusive from well, a French press. It's missing something. No, here's my here's my take on it. Now I, I totally didn't get the Sasquatch vibe, but I think that this is a good coffee for people in the south. Mm, like southern coffee. Yeah, because... Now why, why is that? Because people in the south don't like full-bodied, strong coffees. So if they like the flavor of coffee, but they don't like the punch. So this is lacking a punch. Yeah. And so this is a good, like, equivalent to a Cracker Barrel coffee, but on the healthy side. Okay. So, okay, well, let's see how that compares with the espresso version. We just took the same coffee and ground the beans down further, more almost to a powder, and did it through the espresso side. So, how is it? A little bit stronger. Actually, not much different. It's not too much different, is it? Actually, no, it's really not, which mm -hmm. is kind of surprising because usually... This with, is way stronger. Yeah, usually it's more of a almost distilled, almost like, you know, from the south. Concentrated. You know, you, yeah. It's more concentrated, but not in this case. Yeah, like from the south, it's like your grandparents' moonshine still. <laughs> this is more of the, if you do not have a lot of time or if you do not want a lot of coffee volume-wise, obviously espresso is a better way to go anyway because it's smaller, but the taste is the same. So it's like you're getting either the French press or the espresso. The taste is the almost the exact same. It's it's not bitter. It is still kind of smooth, but not. It does. I mean, I will give them one thing. It really does taste like a high quality coffee. It even says on here that this region of Honduras is known for their growing the finest yeah. coffee in Honduras. So you can taste that it's a fine coffee. However, it's not the strength that I like it, but that doesn't matter. I mean, like, you can actually taste that it is a good quality coffee. Yeah. What to do if it's too weak? Well, we have found a version called, what is it? The Dead Eye. The Dead Eye. Arr! <laughs> what is a Dead Eye when it comes to coffee? Well, when you make, here's just a fun recipe for you. When you make a coffee and you want it to be extra strong, what you do is you pull a three shots of espresso to one cup of regular brewed coffee. Alright. Ooh, it's a little rough. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How's your eye? That's why it's called the dead eye. Well, <laughs> on Darren's Tricky. It really adds a dimension to your normal everyday coffee because yes, we get used to the French press. We get used to, you know, espressos, cappuccinos, things like this, but when you mix and combine, this this adds a new element. And I really I actually kinda like this. It grows on me. It has yeah. more definitely more of a punch, definitely more of the strength that 
you like, but it's still not like extremely bold flavor, but it has strength. Yes, I completely agree with that, and it still it still does not have the bitter taste to uh -huh. it. Um, it's very good. This is a very, I like it. When it's combined together, it makes a very good coffee. This is a very good serving coffee. This is the type where, um, you know, you could really, you could impress your friends and family. Yeah. With a dead eye. With a dead eye. It's three shots of espresso to one cup of coffee. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's a winner, actually. That's good. If you like medium roast coffee, give it a try. Yep. And we will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please click on the icon and subscribe. It is easy, painless, and most importantly, free. Thanks.